what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? A volunteer firefighter from Ohio was suspended indefinitely without pay after he wrote on his Facebook page on Tuesday that he would rather save a dog than a black man. Tyler Rosden, 20 years old, was informed that he was suspended from the Franklin Township Fire Department for stating that he would rather save a dog from a burning building than an African American. Rosden wrote on his Facebook page that one dog is more important than one million niggas. <clears throat> Boy, that's some strong racism. That's, that's some good old racism right there, man. Yeah, man. Boy, that, boy, that was tough. Well, boy, I see, he'd rather save a dog than a human being. Oh, man. Boy, that racism getting stronger and stronger in America. America, the leader of the free world, the, the country that positions itself in the Western world as the forerunner, the country that is going to lead Western democracy and its democratic values. America, you're getting it, boy. You're making everybody want to be just like you. Wow. Now, check this out. Franklin Township Board of Directors President Brian Morris says that the comments do not reflect the prevailing attitudes in Franklin Township. We've heard that before. He went on to say, I want people to realize this is only one man's comment. We have a great group of men and disgusting comments from one individual does not represent the entire fire department. We've heard that before. <laughs> it's like they go to the same school. Look here, man. We know this is what we are, but when they come for you, just say this, throw that out there, throw some of that. Not all, not all firemen, not all cops are bad. Throw a little of a, uh, he misspoke, uh, we're investigating, you know, little key phrases they use. Now, the township has set a date for September 27th when the Board of Trustees will vote on Rosden's future at the fire department. What fucking future do he have? What's the vote for? I don't understand. Somebody enlighten me, please. Somebody in the comment section enlighten me and tell me why this dude was suspended and not fired. And how in the hell do you get paid to be a volunteer? I thought volunteer meant free. Like you're volunteering your services for non-payment. They said he was suspended indefinitely without pay. <sighs> Must be some new stuff going on. This is your America. Now, I'm going to tell you something. When I heard this, I wasn't surprised, but I was disappointed. Because you know what? I really do appreciate firemen. Firemen, unlike a lot of cops, get off their ass every day. And they really do risk their lives every day. Like they are in the trenches daily. They're fighting fire daily. Unlike cops, cops are not fighting crime daily. Most times cops are just writing tickets, um, going out to calls and they're supposed to be de-escalating, but they end up escalating. They, they just go around kicking people's asses and shit like that. That's what a lot of, I mean, that's what I see cops doing mostly. And Cadillac, you know, they do security work and they just stand around and get paid and they go home. Firefighters put in work. I mean, they holding them big old ass heavy hoses, that water coming out. They got the, the 
back aching, the legs aching, the neck aching when they get off work. Man, firefighters got to be in shape. You got to be in shape to be a firefighter. And firefighters risk it daily. And it's way more firefighters that die, actually die than police officers. Now, I don't want to take anything away from the police officer that's out there doing what he's supposed to be doing. But I'm going to tell you, I'm saying comparing the two. There really isn't a comparison. Firefighters should be the ones that we're out here doing all of this ranting and raving about and protecting, trying to protect and giving raises to. So when I found out this, of course, I was like, ah, oh, man, now I got to go in on a fireman. Never thought that would happen, but then again, it makes sense. These racist people, they're woven into the fabric of America. Racism is as much American as apple pie, chivalry, and baseball. It is woven throughout the fabric of America. It is what it is. So when people say, well, why are you talking about it? I mean, when you bring up these stories, it's just race baiting. What they want you to do is suffer in silence. They don't want you to talk about it. Maybe if we won't talk about it, it'll go away. Uh, what it is, it hurts their feelings because what trips me out is that if somebody was saying something bad about somebody and I know they're not talking about me, I wouldn't get offended. But it's so many people. When I start talking about racist ass, white dudes especially, white supremacy, the Klan, white nationalists, they get offended. It's like, why are you offended? And that's when I go in hard on their asses because I know what they really are. They're trying to maintain the status quo. They support all of the hatred, the bigotry. They support the special privileges. They support every single person of color that's been gunned down by the police. They support the police's actions. So fuck them. That's how I feel. Thanks to Donald Trump and his minions, scum like this has been allowed to flourish and run rampant throughout America and spew their racial hatred. You got to know that that fire department in the Franklin Township, they have to have the same type of mentality for him to feel that comfortable that he could get on Facebook and broadcast those thoughts to the world. Yeah, they made him very comfortable. And I bet you anything that his boss is the exact same way. This stuff don't just come out of nowhere. He knows that people are out here watching those posts, that people are watching what you post on social media. He felt comfortable enough to feel protected. He only pulled it down, pulled the post down because he got blasted and the whole department got put on blast. So they were like, hey man, take that shit down, man. It was cool at first. Yeah, I was joking. I was laughing. I know I was laughing, but you got to take that down, man. They tripping. This is another Donald Trump loser who has probably never even had a bad interaction with a person of color. He just wants to be a part of a movement. He wants to be part of something that he feels that can give him some identity, some sense of purpose, because his mama and his daddy never gave him that. They never built his self-esteem up enough for him to be comfortable in his own skin. The dude is only 20 years old. He got a whole lot of hate left in him. He got a lot of hate left. 20. Where did he get it from? I say, go to his house and knock on the door. Go to his parents' house. Knock on the door. You'll find it. You'll find the answer right there. 
This is what Colin Kaepernick was protesting. He's protesting the inequality in America, the hatred for people of color, specifically black people in America. This is what he was protesting. Nobody's making this stuff up. This is happening. We're only reporting it. We're talking about it. Don't get mad that I'm talking about it. Get mad at the reason I'm talking about it. Get mad at the people who provoked me to talk about it. Because if it didn't exist, I'd be talking about something else. I don't wake up looking forward to talking about this shit. These racist, self-entitled, low self-esteem having, I'm better than you because of my pigmentation, scum of the earths are everywhere. They're firemen. They're policemen. They're paramedics. They're doctors. They're nurses. They are teachers. They're bus drivers. They sit on the board of directors. They're in the White House. They're politicians. They're judges. They're prosecutors. They're wardens. They're in the clergy. They're everywhere. It's just that Trump has emboldened them. He's let them know you can be all you can be. You can be all the racist that you want to be while I'm in office. I got your back. So folks, you're on your own. You got to get with their asses. Can't play with them. Because that's the only thing going to stop them. They're bullies. And you can't reason with bullies. You have to bully bullies. Period. And you got to do them 10 times worse than they could dream of doing you. That's how you stop the asses. You can't allow someone with that type of mentality to be in the business of saving lives. Or in his case, not saving lives. Let me tell you something, Tyler. And I'm talking to everybody who thinks like you. I would rather have this black skin on the outside than to have a black heart on the inside like you any day. No more talk. Wonder what the ladies talking about. Yeah. Order, Texas.